Hi guys, Dan the RBRT guy with you here again. I got a little story for you that I heard from a distributor down in South Florida. He was rolling around one day and he got a phone call from one of his Harley Davidson dealerships. And apparently they have a Harley wheel that's got some Torx bits that hold this rotor on and they had broken three or four different types of Torx bits trying to get it out. I guess they're kind of shallow, you know, and they are typically held in with a thread locker, I would bet. And they had broken every bit they had in the shop and they called him and asked him if he had something that might be able to dig these out. And he said, sure, of course, and he rolled around. He came out with the RBRT Stubby Torx. Now, the reason I like the RBRT Stubby Torx for stuff like this is because it's a one-piece machine design, so there's less mass, they're a little bit stronger. And so in a higher torque situation, the stubby torques may be the ticket for what you're trying to pull off. So he went into the shop and he proceeded to put those in there. It is tight. And he proceeded to pull all those bolts out of that and every single technician in that shop bought the set of RBRT stubby torques. So just remember, if you have a little trouble getting them out, RBRT torques anchor themselves down into the fastener. They don't cam out. You can put a little bit more torque on these ones because less mass, perfect for this kind of job. I'm Dan, the RBRT guy. Thanks very much. Don't forget to like my channel, subscribe to that channel, like the video, and smash that bell so you can see the next newest video I put out. Thanks very much.